Hi, welcome to Twisted Sugar. Go ahead and order whenever you're ready. When you place your order at Twisted Sugar be the 32 hours. and go through the drive through Okay, there you go. You might see Have a good one. A familiar face. <laughs> but you won't see what's behind the wall. We'll have those right out for you. About a year and a half ago, almost two years. It's kind of crazy, like... Obviously, that's something that's on my mind as summer approaches. Mom, may I please go grab me my phone? We first met Sarah in November 2020, a few months after a drunk driver hit her car. She lost both legs. She was 17. Sarah says she relied on her parents for almost everything. One, two. Now, at 19, she says she does it all herself. I was just relying on my parents all the time. Just with everything, they had to help me even sit up in the morning and get out of bed and brush my hair because my arms weren't strong enough. But it's good, like it, it's, it's just a reminder of how far I've come and how many things I've accomplished in two years. <laughs> One year after the crash, Sarah went to college, living in the dorms. She's wrapping up her freshman year at USU. I thought that I would you know, not go to college this soon. It's been cool it's just like seeing my progress and seeing myself get stronger and doing the things that I couldn't before. For example, like football games, if she has to, she has to find an adjusted way to do that. She can't just walk down the bleachers, but she's very mature about it, knowing who to talk to and being comfortable with her situation. She works on getting stronger every day. And while it's not always perfect, this is hard. she stays smiling. <laughs> Working out has helped me just be more confident in my own abilities. I always have a new goal for how many pull-ups I should do. I've done seven in a row, but in one day I've done like 15 or 20, taking breaks a little bit. My goal before I leave is to do 10 in a row. <laughs> how many could you do before the crash? Oh. None. With her personal Instagram, her Strong Like Sarah Instagram, and her TikTok, Sarah's progress has caught the eye of thousands. Between all three platforms, she inspires more than 170,000 social media followers. We were at the mall one time, and there were these two cheerleaders that came up to her, and they both covered their mouths, is so shocked, and they were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. They're like, can we please get a picture? I feel like I'm meeting someone famous. Like, freaking out. And it's just so cool to see how many people she's impacted. This is my little steering knob so that I can steer with one hand. With adaptive controls, she can drive herself. It didn't take me that long to learn. But she's still driven. A couple months after the crash happened, I was asked, if you could go back, would you change what's happened? Would you choose to not get in the car that day? And I was like, absolutely. I would go back. I would not want this to have happened to me. But now, just recently, someone asked me again, if you could go back and change what has happened, would you? And right now, my answer would be no, I wouldn't go back because I've been able to see the good that has come from it. And I've realized all of the people that I've been able to help and I've been able to have so many amazing opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I was in a life-changing car accident that put me in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, but I am doing all of the things that I can do and making the most of my amazing life that I have. Sarah Murphy, Cash Rendezvous.